fisheries is a great avenue to take because fisheries is not just ecologically important, it's economically important and culturally significant. My name is Naylin Precourt. I'm a fourth year undergraduate at the University of Hawaii and I'm studying natural resources and environmental management. My journey with AFS is a bit unlike others. Growing up, I didn't actually fish, um, so I wasn't super adept in fisheries research, but I was given an opportunity at 15 to participate in the American Fisheries Society Hutton Fellowship. The Hutton Fellowship is a internship designed for high school students that are underrepresented. And with this opportunity, I got my first foot in the door in fisheries. It was the first time that I saw myself capable of doing science, and that was seven years ago, and I'm still here. But since then, I've been able to take on several roles within AFS. I started a student subunit in 2022, and I'd recommend that that's a great way to meet people. If your university has a student subunit, join it. If your university doesn't have a student subunit, make it. It's a great way to meet fishy people in your in your schools, in your neighborhoods, in your communities. And just make those connections early. Fisheries is a great avenue for anyone who's interested in natural resources and a bit more of a social science side of research. That's what I love about it. I think that you can go into fisheries and you can meet all of these amazing stakeholders, anyone from anglers to professionals to PIs to contractors, you're going to meet a broad range of people and it's going to open different doors for you that I don't think you see as much in fields that don't have that large economic side as well. Um, so I think if you're motivated in natural resources and you want to make a difference, I think fisheries is a great avenue to take. You're impacting more than just a scientific journal. You're impacting your local communities. You're impacting your local fishermen. I would highly recommend the Hutton Fellowship if you're interested in fisheries. They've got about a 70% retention rate for students that go through it. They stay in natural sciences, and that's amazing and much higher than I've heard for just about any other internship. Um, but the other things are just when you're working in natural sciences and conservation, like you just need to be passionate about what you're doing, and doors will open from there. So join that club, talk to that person at a conference, sign up for that extra elective, and just really keep putting yourself in spaces where you think you could be interested and you'll eventually find that niche of where you really wanna be pursuing research.